everyone, this is Jennifer Stay from Coloring Pages Bliss and welcome to video number six of my gel pen coloring series. Before we get started, I wanted to remind you that in the description of this video is a link to my website where you can find a set of printable worksheets I have created for you to practice the tips and techniques I'm about to demonstrate. I also have weekly live coloring events on Facebook every Wednesday. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and join my fun community. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I have been waiting this whole series to get to video number six where I can introduce you to glycerin. Now, um, I have a worksheet, like I've said before, that you can come onto my website and download and you're really going to want this because we're going to want to practice with our new little tool called glycerin. Now, glycerin is something you can find in a lot of different stores. I found mine in my local Hobby Lobby or just a craft store. It was in the soap section and it was really inexpensive. This one was only $4 for an eight ounce bottle and I used my coupon on it so it's going to last me a long time, really inexpensive and I'm already finding lots of different ways to use it in my art room. Now glycerin is something called a humectant. Now that's a fancy word and all it really means is that it really likes to attract water to itself. And glycerin is vegetable based and it's used in a lot of our beauty supplies, it's used in toothpaste, it's even used in some of our food. And it's a clear substance, it's really thick. It is almost like a corn syrup or a carol syrup. It's even a little sweet if you were to taste a little bit of it. Um, and like I said, it's really thick. Um, and we can use it in our craft room in a lot of different ways. You can even use it to help with your um, blending of your color pencils. There's lots of ways we can use it in our art supplies. So it's really worth picking up. I put it into a little bottle just like this and use it to um, drop it out into small quantities because a tiny little bit goes a very long way as you're about to see. I like to put it into a little bowl so I can use it with my paint brushes or my silicone spatula. Okay, you can also mix a little tiny bit of water into it to make it go a little bit further if you want to. But for gel pens, I found that just using the straight glycerin seems to work best. Now, gel pens are water-based, and I think that's why they play well with glycerin. And one of the problems we have with gel pens when we're blending is that they tend to dry too fast, our gel pens do. And like I said before, I really like a juicy gel pen that dries slowly so I have time to mix it with either the scribble blending or with my spatula and get a nice smear. And so when I started to think about how can I get these gel pens pens to stay wet longer, I um, discovered glycerin and thought this is going to work perfect because it's a humectant. It um, keeps the gel wet longer and so it works perfect for blending with these little beauties. So the other thing it does is because we use such a small quantity, it doesn't damage our paper. Now I am using a thicker cardstock type paper. Um, you can use a thinner paper if you want to but I would be a little cautious. Um, it might cause a few problems as far as um, soaking through. So do a little test swatch to make sure. Um, but just err on the safe side and get yourself some nice cardstock. And I am using a smoother textured cardstock today for this purpose. So it should work really great. So let's go ahead and demonstrate how fantastic and magical this amazing humectant glycerin is going to make our gel pens work. So I'm also going to be using a paintbrush. It really doesn't matter what kind of paintbrush you use. I've got two styles here that work great and I showed you those at the beginning in video number one. And I'm going to start out by getting my paintbrush nice and soaked with the glycerin. And then I'm going to push that glycerin off so that, you know, my brush is damp with it, but not really soaked with it. So I'll just sort of push it off into the edge of the glass of that bowl. So I know that that glycerin is there. When I move it in the light, I can see that it's wet, but it's not soaking wet. 
Now we're going to move over here to my little flower that I drew for demonstration purposes. And what I want to show you is how great this works. And first I'm going to show you right here um, how this is going to work. And we're going to start by demonstrating it with the smear technique. And um, I'm just going to grab this Sakura Jelly Roll Metallic and I'm going to um, demonstrate it without the glycerin first and give it a smear and show you get a really good smear with that Sakura Jelly Roll pen and my silicone spatula. But if we use our um, glycerin and prep the paper first with that nice slippery humectant and then lay down the gel and use our spatula, we can get a much longer smear because that paper is prepped and it makes that gel stay wet and just go so much further. Same amount of gel, maybe even a little less. I don't know, I wasn't paying perfect attention, but isn't that amazing? It's so fantastic how much farther our ink can go. So building on that, we should be able to get some really great blends. We're going to start with our um, scribble technique that I was teaching you earlier. So I'm going to grab two pens here that we know will play well together. They're two metallic pens. And the way we're going to do this is pick a petal and I'm going to prep the area just like I did down here and make sure I don't have too much glycerin because I don't want to ruin the paper. I just want to get it prepped so that it will um, stay moist and blend well with my scribble blending here. And go back and what you'll find is that that ink just stays wet just a little bit longer. And the scribble blend goes a lot quicker and easier because of it. Again, I think that the studio lights are grabbing that metallic and making it look different. So let's grab non-metallic pens and demonstrate it with that. Okay, this should show up better in the studio. So we've got our glycerin on the brush and we're prepping the petal, the area we're going to color. Like I said, when you color onto the area where the glycerin has been, you can feel the difference with the ink. It just stays wet longer and moves around better, much more slippery. And that scribble blending just, the ink just likes to go together and it goes a lot faster. So fun, look how pretty that turned out. So pretty. Okay, of course, another way to do this, uh, we're going to use the same two colors since I've got them handy. We're going to go ahead and prep the little air petal again. I'm just going to prep the bottom half this time and get the ink going. And then grab it with my brush and help start the ink flowing.
and look how pretty that blend turned out. So you can do it two different ways, just a straight up scribble blend by pre-prepping that area with the glycerin, or you can use actually use the brush with the glycerin on it and help that blend happen. So let's keep experimenting here and see what else we learn. Okay, so one of the things that we've discovered as we've done this is that you can almost put too much of the glycerin down when you're using the spatula technique and when you go to smear it, it almost pushes the gel past where you put the glycerin down. And so with the spatula, you want to be a little careful that you still have some friction on your paper when you go to smear the gel. Now another thing that we have discovered which I think is fantastic and almost like magic is when you lay down your glycerin and you come in with your gel, when the gel hits that glycerin it starts to move and smear out and you get this amazing effect where it almost becomes extra liquidy and those strokes begin to disappear and it makes it really fun to color with. I honestly don't think I could go back to coloring with gel pens without the use of glycerin. It is so much more fun and it goes down so much more smooth and you get such better blends when you're using the glycerin. I can't wait to show you in video seven what we're going to do with the glycerin next. So I'm just going to stop here because I want to just go on to video seven and show you the next trick. It's going to be so much fun. So keep your glycerin out, keep your paint brushes out because in video seven we're going to paint with our gel pens. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to hit that like button and leave me a comment before moving on. Thanks for watching my gel pen coloring series and we'll see you in number seven. Bye-bye!